Uh, Max is here following some baseball news. Yeah, hopefully there'll be some more news coming. This isn't necessarily good news. We start with complicating the labor impasse for Major League Baseball report tonight. There's some players and staff tested positive for COVID-19. No more details right now. They still hope to get a deal done soon and resume the season. But Troy Hawkins grew up in Gary, Indiana before his days with the Twins and 21 years in the big leagues. We talk baseball and racial tension. Latroy Hawkins was an instructor for the Twins at spring training. 0-2. Curveball, strike three. And he's a 21-year veteran of the big leagues. His thoughts on the labor impasse? You know what, I'm not surprised because with the uh, looming uh, collective bargaining coming next year, um, I just, I'm just not surprised. It's, it's one of those things where, you know, the true fans understand the owner's perspective and understand the player's perspective. And at the end of the day, when they return to the field, we'll be ready to, you know, welcome him with open arms. But even he has been distracted from the game he loves because he sees a bigger issue in the country. The rallies against racism in the United States have hit home. Yeah, I mean, but at the end of the day, there are people out there in this world who are really struggling, who, you know, with the inequalities and police brutality, um, those people don't even pay attention to baseball because their lives are so hard because of the systematic racism. It started here in Minneapolis where you're very familiar with and you played. What, what did that feel like when you saw that start here and then of course move throughout the country? You know what, I understood those people pain. Um, you know, police brutality has been going on a long time and now it's just being videotaped. And, you know, you know, back in the day when the victim was saying what was going on, oh, he was, you know, he or she was, you know, called a liar and, you know, whatever the cop said was, you know, was the gospel. 